Hi everyone, go to Luke here giving you an update on my uh, houseboat build and right now I'm inside the uh, yard of the uh, marina that I'm a member of and right now you're starting to see what uh, my shelter uh, that I've put together uh, looks like. This structure is 28 feet long and is 14 feet wide and I have my boat project under inside there and we'll go have a look inside. So this is the uh, front section of my shelter and uh, here you can see that I've got a tarp that actually uh, I roll up like a curtain kind of style. I got some strings that I pull from inside on pulleys and I can raise and lower the uh, tarp all the way down so when the heavy weather comes uh, the shelter is protected. I also have the same thing uh, in the back of the uh, shelter. So now let's uh, have a look inside here. And I have all my uh, sections uh, all done here. And they are all very finely uh, sanded, which took a lot of time. So all these pieces now have uh, the uh, laminations of plywood in between the foam and all that are uh, perfectly flat. So they're ready to take the uh, fiberglass. I've got some fiberglass here, cloth. This is a 16 ounce uh, cloth with a, um, um, a mat uh, that's kind of uh, built into it as well. So uh, yeah, six, uh, no sorry, 18 ounce, 18 ounce um, roofing and with a uh, three-quarter ounce uh, mat uh, built into it. And um, let's see here, this is the structure inside my uh, shelter. You might be hearing something, some noise there, that's an airport that's right next to the uh, marina here. It's a little private airport. So uh, I've used some uh, one and a half inch uh, plumbing uh, black plumbing uh, pipe that's used for wells and and uh, you know pumps going into lakes and things like that and uh, I've got these two by twos that are four foot centers and uh, the one and a half inch uh, pipe just goes inside there so I built the uh, roof uh, structure separately and uh, here's the other side of it here too and you might see some uh, very fine wire crosses there and that's all to uh, reinforce the uh, roof to give it a beam uh, strength so because I tried to make this as light as possible so I didn't have to use so much material and inside the uh, wall uh, structures as well I've got these cross uh, wire uh, braces uh, that's holding the whole thing the shelter is just screwed uh, in right in the uh, pavement here. So the other big thing I had to do is build uh, all these tables. Here you see these only half the uh, width of the table. The other half has all the sections here that are ready to lay out on this table. And this table is 8 feet wide this way and 28 feet long because that's the length of the uh, boat. So it's all these four by eight uh, sections that I uh, built and uh, you know to support this. So this is all level so that I once I lay down my foam uh, flooring this is the base of the uh, pontoon uh, houseboat and then these are the pontoons if you've been following the video and now you see one here that's shaped for the uh, bow and the stern as well is shaped to the same so I got a few other pieces inside there as well that need to be glued on. So the thing that I'm going to be doing now is laying out all these uh, four foot uh, by eight feet uh, floor sections and it's basically being laid down upside down and then when I have that laid down I've got some pre-cut here rolls of fiberglass that I've already unrolled because the roll is really heavy and I made these all 28 feet long so then I stretch out the uh, fiberglass, roll it out over the floor section and then uh, start wetting 
uh, with the uh, po uh, for, with the sorry polyester resin. You see, there's uh, one drum there, and these are like uh, 55 gallon drums, and I got a couple of those there. So these sections of pontoons, you see them standing up there. There's about a uh, six and a half foot section there. So basically, I would wet the uh, fiberglass cloth the length of the pontoon there, only the area that it's going to sit on, and then basically put the pontoon on it. And once the uh, resin uh, hardens, then I'll have the pontoons adhered to the floor sections uh, permanently. And uh, then I'm going to cover that with the cloth and then do the whole pontoon. So once they've all been laid out, then I can, you know, cover the whole surface with the uh, fiberglass. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, now. So uh, that's the update for now, and that's where I'm at. And uh, basically, it took me about two weeks just uh, sanding all the uh, surfaces uh, of these uh, floor sections here. About three hours per side it takes and uh, so that was quite a tedious process and I didn't do a video on that. Uh, I could show you, um, let me see here if I have it, well I don't have it right available right now but I made a really big sanding block. It's basically about uh, two feet long with a handle on it, uh, two handles actually, and uh, about uh, a foot and a half long. Actually it's probably more like two and a half feet long. It's a pretty long thing and it's heavy and basically just you know the the idea is a really large surface area that it's you know flat and you're just pulling this thing back and forth back and forth until you know all the uh, plywood laminations uh, are all equal the same. So that's how we get all these uh, really straight lines here going across the uh, foam and the plywood. So that's the update for now and I'll give you a few shots of when I have the uh, all this uh, foam floor laid out on the table and uh, and a few other things. So here we are back again with uh, more of the uh, layout done and these are the floor sections that are all now connected and uh, under under pressure. So there's now 24 feet worth uh, of uh, sections, four foot by eight foot sections uh, that are all glued together. And just a finer little sanding on top as well, just for the joints to be uh, perfectly flat as well. And uh, here in the center, I've got the pontoons uh, ready to be laid down in the correct position, which they would come here. They're just temporarily here in the center because here I'm going to roll out some fiberglass cloth, 25 inch piece there, and uh, basically wet the area of, let's say, this pontoon, and then drop the uh, pontoon down on the uh, fiberglass that has the uh, resin on it. And uh, then that's how the uh, pontoon will merge uh, with the uh, foam here, the floor section, which is, so I'm building this boat upside down, basically. And then once all the fiberglass is done over the surface of the pontoons, then uh, the painting and all that and all the finishing work. And then I have to flip the whole structure around and then start working from the floor and then start building the walls up. So as you see here, I have my uh, bow shape here and I have a nose uh, reinforcement here. That's a piece of cedar uh, uh, wood there that I've put in and that's uh, glued uh, right there in the front and that's for in case there's an impact or something like that uh, then the uh, fiberglass uh, will have more chances of uh, surviving than just having the foam only and the backing. Sorry for the noise of aircrafts and uh, helicopters. There's an airport right next to me here and what I'll do is I'll go on the other side and I'll show you the uh, fiberglass that's rolled out there and how I'm going to go about that. Okay, so here I am coming in from the other side now of the uh, work table. So again, I've got two uh, pontoons here that are ready to come into position. 
and uh, there you see my fiberglass that's uh, my fiberglass cloth that's laid out it's a uh, fairly uh, thick cloth you probably can't see that there but as you see it just stands up on its own so it's uh, it's roofing uh, 18 ounce roofing I think I've mentioned that before sorry if I keep repeating myself I forget what I say from one video to the other so as you see here there's a line and the reason why I do this line here is because basically I just want to put the resin uh, in the area that I'm going to be dropping the uh, pontoon over it so all this area here will be wet and then this area will remain that way anyways this here here this section here is going to be cut and carved uh, once all this has been flipped over actually um, so the pontoon is about 24 inches wide and basically from here to here we've got about 21 inches and the extra three inches is the pontoon overhangs here on the side and basically what it is is the wall once this is flipped over the wall will be resting on the pontoons themselves so the wall will be uh, adding uh, beam strength to the uh, pontoons so that's uh, what I've got so far the other motor you're hearing there in the background that's uh, probably a high speed boat going down the river so we're between a river and a air private airport here so it's kind of noisy sorry about that I can't control that so there you go so this whole section's under pressure with this uh, kind of belt system here that I've designed so that's going to be under pressure until the fiberglass and the pontoons are laid and I can only do uh, 24 feet uh, worth uh, with the table even though the uh, boat the uh, pontoon boat is uh, houseboat is uh, 28 feet long so I'm up to here and the balance here actually uh, is another section that's right there ready to go and that's four feet and basically I'll have to take out this uh, tension system here so that uh, I could put that last uh, section in so there'll just be one section there that won't be able to be glued under uh, pressure but that'll be fine uh, the majority will uh, have used this uh, system here so there's uh, one other piece of bow there as well that's ready to go and there's another piece there and these are the pontoons that remain as well to be coming here at the uh, front end here so that's actually the back end of the boat there the front end is uh, going to be uh, even more reinforced. I'll have some plywood actually on the surface of these uh, bows here to also give it more protection in case you know you hit a log. So that one there doesn't have the uh, piece of, uh, of cedar there in the nose uh, yet but I do have those pieces and that'll be added as well on both of these here and like I said the plywood also on the side will help uh, reinforce it. So that's the update that I have uh, up to date and I think I'll post this video for now. Um, the rest here basically I'm ready now to start uh, putting my resin down on this, uh, this uh, fiberglass cloth and uh, I won't be doing a video uh, of that because it's fairly boring and I'm a one-man operation here and I can't do both. The resins uh, are really uh, sensitive and you have to work in a certain time frame so I won't be able to do the video uh, at the same time as I'm doing the resins so because uh, of the time restraint and all that so basically you know I think a lot of you who are, may, may be interested in this uh, build uh, is would know what uh, fiberglass resin or polyester resin is like uh, and working with that so uh, I will give other updates as I'm covering the pontoons and all that and adding the uh, V uh, shape here on the bottom of them as well. So that's not done yet, but that will be done. And that will be the uh, fourth video. So thanks for your interest and we'll see you later.